But before we start, I'd like to tell you something about the history of chiropractic. Now, in 1895, a man named D.D. Palmer adjusted a janitor who had partial hearing trouble. That is, one ear couldn't hear at all. And after that first adjustment, this man heard. Now, how did the D.D. Palmer get this idea of adjusting this patient? First, D.D. Palmer was what was called a magnetic healer. A magnetic healer doesn't mean somebody who's magnets, but one who thinks and believes, and he or she claims that they have proof, that magnetism comes from us. And what they do is let the person lie down, and when this person is lying down who is ill, they would take the hand maybe about three or four inches away from whatever bothers them or place that bothers them, and it would just gently wave it across, saying that the magnetism from the hands uh, would go into the patient and the patient would get well. Now, D.D. Palmer was somewhat of an explorer as uh, my friend and I went exploring all of uh, Bohong. And uh, he was not too happy with that particular way of adjusting things. <coughs> so, uh, one day, that's a good, uh, <laughs> one day, <coughs> This particular janitor was standing in a hall with D.D. Palmer and someone else, let him come up, and someone else. And uh, when the talk was over, D.D. Palmer had a book under his arm, which he was a, a heavy reader. And he tapped this janitor on the back by saying so long. So a few days later, the janitor came back and said, you know, Dr. Palmer, when you tapped me on the back with that book. I can hear just a little better. And uh, D.D. Palmer said, okay, I'll see, I'll see. Now, D.D. Palmer was a spiritualist. And when I say a spiritualist, it means that this was a type of religion he had. As today, we have many different types of religions uh, in a particular Christian era. So he went to his church, and within each spiritualistic church was a medium and he consulted the medium and the medium said well the best I can do is go into a trance and let's find out what's what and when the medium went into a trance voices came out of her and the voice said I am Dr. Atkinson an MD who has passed away and what you have done is only a semblance of uh, what you will be doing, and what you will be doing will be to do exactly as I tell you. And he was told what to do through his voice. So D.D. Palmer went back and he put this janitor on the table and with his hands he uh, gave his first adjustment. And that was September 18th, 1895. Now, as we have a Memorial Day on May 30th, I think we should have a national holiday on September 18th, 1895. Because that was the greatest day that was ever given to mankind. You can mention any other day and I will dispute it with you. That's my opinion. I will dispute it with you. Because there is nothing finer and nothing greater than chiropractic. So when D.D. Palmer gave the adjustment, this man got up and said, I can hear everything. So D.D. wanted to know what happened. He went back to the medium. And when he went back to the medium, all he got after the medium went into a trance was certain things. Well, what you did, you gave an adjustment. And there was a transition. And uh, the adjustment you gave, you gave it on a subluxation. And there was interference. These are the only things uh, that D.D. was given. So he came back and with these few words, oh, he was given another thing. And the very basic principle of this whole thing is tone. 
So he went back and he stopped working upon these words and stopped formulating a particular method to administer chiropractic. And from then on, the whole thing just shot out like big flames all over the world, as a matter of fact, all over the United States first. And then it went all over the world. 